Hi, my name is Jeffrey Smith from the Institute for Responsible Technology. The United States Department of Agriculture just approved a non-browning apple, nicknamed the Botox apple. It hides its age because even if it's sliced and left out for close to three weeks, it won't turn brown. Similarly, a potato engineered not to brown or bruise. Now, obviously, there's a concern that you may be tricked into eating a very old, possibly even rotten, apple or potato. But scientists around the world are concerned about something far more serious. The genes that produce the browning in the apple and the potato are silenced through something called double-stranded RNA. The engineers put in DNA into the apple's genome. It produces a double-stranded RNA, which then silences the gene that normally causes the apple or potato to brown. Now, what they're concerned about is that the double-stranded RNA produced in the apple and in the potato may silence our genes accidentally. A perfect example of this happened in an experiment on honeybees. Scientists took double-stranded RNA, selected specifically not to have an effect. Unfortunately, they got it all wrong. They fed a single meal of double-stranded RNA to these honeybees, and 1,461 genes changed their levels of expression. That's about 10% of all the genes in the honeybee. Now, the author said this certainly changed the physiology, development, and behavior of the honeybees. And it was a complete surprise to the scientists. Are we going to be surprised by the effect of the double-stranded RNA found in the apple and in the potato. Surprisingly, the form of RNA called double-stranded RNA is very, very stable, more stable than we think of for normal RNA molecules. And it's now been shown that they can be taken up after digestion of the food into our blood supply. We also know that other animals take up these double-stranded RNA molecules. And in fact, there are biotech companies who specifically engineer crops to produce double-stranded RNA molecules that are lethal to insects and crop pests. Until now, mostly the, co the companies and the regulatory community have rejected the need to test these double-stranded RNA molecules based on the argument that they did not expect double-stranded RNA to survive digestion and be taken up in the blood system. Now that that assumption, which is never tested, has been challenged by peer-reviewed scientific evidence and has also been confirmed by two subsequent studies using other types of analysis, it's important that the regulatory community change its tune on this and demand that the companies demonstrate using experiments that the unintended or intended double-stranded RNA molecules made in genetically engineered organisms don't have an adverse effect on consumers. In 2013, Dr. Jack Heinemann and others published a comprehensive paper describing how to evaluate the risks of double-stranded RNA so it's not a danger to us. Soon after, United States Department of Agriculture entomologists published their paper citing Heinemann's work and agreeing that the risks were severe and that the current assessments were incompetent to evaluate those risks and protect the environment and health. Tragically, the government regulators around the world ignore the risks. They even ignore the recommendations of their own scientists. The perfect example is found at the United States Food and Drug Administration. There, the scientists repeatedly warned that GMOs were different and dangerous and could lead to allergies, toxins, new diseases, and nutritional problems. They urged their superiors to require long-term study. But the person in charge of policy, Michael Taylor, Monsanto's former attorney, later Monsanto's vice president, and now back at the FDA as the U.S. food czar, his policy, he was in charge of, declared that the agency was not aware of any information showing that GMOs were different, a lie. And on the basis of that lie, no safety testing was necessary and no labeling was necessary. The policy came out in 1992, but we didn't know it was a lie for many years until the court ordered the FDA to reveal these secret documents. 
Millions of Americans are set to be exposed as early as 2016 when these things go to market. We don't know if the double-stranded RNA produced in these GMOs will match the sequence of our genes and change their levels of expression. It could be quite dangerous if it does. We don't want to be the guinea pigs. The Institute for Responsible Technology will not stand by and simply let this happen. Will you? Please sign our petition. Safe eating.